on the rural road. Our colleague was testing this Nissan Leaf AGE Zero and rear-ended a small truck that was turning left in the front of him. According to our colleague's recollection, uh, he was driving at a speed of more than 80 km per hour. The right rear wheel of the small truck was damaged. The left front of our AZE0 was seriously damaged. And the negative pole of the 12 volt battery was broken. At the moment of the collision, both airbags on the driver's seat and the passenger seat were deployed. Yeah, fortunately, no one was injured. Hey guys, welcome back. Yeah, this is our company's car. Our colleague just had a serious traffic accident. The car looks very bad now, but fortunately, no one was injured in the accident. Yeah, God bless them. And uh, we just towed the car back to the company, so let's go and take a look at the car. This is a Nissan Leaf AZ-E0, equipped with a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack produced by our company. Our colleague was testing our battery pack when the accident happened. You can see that the front of the car was seriously damaged. The charging port, headlights, hold, the negative port of the 12 volt battery, collision beam, and air conditioner. Everything here is broken. And as you can see, both air bikes popped out. Yes, thanks to the protection of the air bikes, our colleague was not injured. So, what will happen to our battery pack on down such a violent impact? Now let's remove the battery and take a look at its condition. Okay, the car has been lifted up now, so you can see that the chassis of the car is not deformed. And the bottom of the battery pack is not damaged. And the three plugs are also intact. Okay, let's remove the battery. Okay, the battery pack has been removed now. Um, oh yeah, you can see the battery pack is not sealed yet. Normally we don't seal the battery pack when testing it. And now we can see the appearance of the battery pack looks good. Okay, let's open it and take a look inside. Okay, finally, we can see the inside now. From the appearance, uh, each battery module looks good without any deformation and uh, displacement because all the modules are all fixed with the screws. I guess this plays an important role. So what do you guys think? And uh, let's take a look at the other part. The Rene module, service plug, BMS looks normal. And all temperature sensors are still fixed in their original positions. All the bus bar between the modules did not move or break. Looks good. Okay, let's use the new spy to check the battery pack now. So now we can see the SOH 100%, HX 109%, voltage now is 357 watt. Temperature now is 21 degrees Celsius, and the voltage difference is only 16 millivolt. Oh my gosh, the data looks very good. Oh, um, I have to explain something here. Uh, you can see the AHR is 114. Yes, we we installed a um, 14 kilowatt hour BMS uh, because there was no 50 kilowatt hour BMS at the time. But don't worry, uh, this had no effect on the test result yet. Wow, so from the data, um, we can see the battery is still very good. Yeah, there's no any damage from the severe impact. That's great. Of course, 
we will not send this battery pack to our customers anymore. Uh, we will continue to install it in the car for testing to collect the data on its operating status. Yeah, let me know if you are interested. Like. Anyway, NIF has once again passed a major test. As a 10-year-old car, after experiencing a big crash, the airbags can be deployed instantly. After the entire vehicle is powered off, the vehicle can automatically switch into natural gear, which makes the car easy to move and transfer. NIF proved itself as one of the world's safest electric cars again. And the Vivlis battery has also passed the test. After a major collision, the battery did not short circuit or catch fire. The battery module did not deform or move and the entire battery condition is still very good. Yes, yeah, so my dear NIF owners, NIF battery upgrade, we are professional.